Okay, so I'm putting together my next desk Terra Pro today, and you can see how well it was packaged. Uh, this particle board here, pretty solid protection, nice packaging. All right, so I took it out and I got it in the house. Here we go. Got some of the parts here and some in the studio. I already started the uh, desk and was thinking, eh, maybe I should do a video of this. So, uh, all right, here's some of the parts. I had them all spread out on the floor here, but we'll go to the study in a bit and I'll show you what I'm doing there. Here is uh, just some of the packaging. Let me show you something here, if I may. Let's see. Yeah, these were placed in the corners of the desk. Pretty sturdy, good stuff. Well packaged. Okay, to the desk. All right, here we are. First thing I did was I placed the desk, as you see, this is uh, my music studio, and the desk will go right there, and my monitors, and mixers will all go on this desk. You'll notice this bamboo wood is just beautiful. I've wiped it. And the way I have this set up, you see there I'm working on my first column, actually. So this is actually the front of the desk right there. So after I've put all the columns in, I'm going to take the desk and turn it this way so that this will be in the front, actually to my right. Um, before you put the columns in, you'll notice these screws here are like halfway in. The reason they're loose is so that you can take them out easily to put the leg columns in. So, Let's see here. And what you need to do is have this cable here onto the inside of the desk. You don't want this connection here on this side at all. Not there. So you see there, I'm tightening the screws, getting my first column in. And... Uh, Reading the manual, one thing you do not want to do is over-tighten the screws. Okay. As you can see here, they have this all prepared. Looks good. All right, let me get all these columns done and see where we go next. Okay, I just wanted to take a minute and demonstrate this. You see here, I have my second column ready to put in, install. Once again, I'm going to have this, uh, this cable facing inside. And uh, these screws, as I mentioned, they come halfway in, okay, so that you can take them out like that. So you get these screws out and then you get your columns in. Okay, so I've got the uh, four columns in. Uh, I would like to say, if you care about your desk, if you're doing this, have a little patience with the Allen wrench. Sometimes you have to fiddle with it a bit to make it fit, but just take your time and enjoy it. 
this isn't really taking me too long but I'm not going to put a time on it it's I've had phone calls in between etc I've just been enjoying myself okay so now uh, also um, I've wiped it with a cloth and it looks really nice and uh, following the instruction manual you can also download it on the internet the first this is the first thing I did connected the columns then number two the next thing is I have to do the floor supports so let me go ahead and do that uh, just one more thing briefly before connecting these floor supports uh, I'd like to mention these parts are really solid the desk is solid the columns are heavy solid these floor plates are heavy, solid. This is a real quality desk. Well, you pay for it, but I'll tell you, it's sure going to be worth it. I know it. Okay, so the instruction manual says to connect the floor supports to the columns. And I'd like to point out that when you do that, the countersink holes should face up. So... This, I, on purpose, I've shown you here, oh, let me, okay, this is incorrect. So this needs to be flipped over like this, so that it looks like this, so the screw heads go down that way. All right, so let's get it done. Okay, something here that's probably good to mention is when you line these up, it may not seem like the screws fit in that well. Well, what you can do is just put your hand underneath, I would say like this, and just give it a little, give this, give the column a little push very gently, just millimeters what we're talking about, to make these screws go in nicely. Uh, you might have to do that. Um, okay, just a little tip. All right, so step one was getting the leg columns in. Step two was getting these bases in. And it wasn't really too bad, except uh, just maybe one or two screws took a little extra patience to uh, line them up properly. So now, uh, let's see where we are in this manual here. Okay, we just finished connecting the floor supports. Step three, optional next space keyboard. I did not get a keyboard, so I'm not going to be doing that. So I'll be moving to step four. Connect the cables. That seems pretty simple. So I'll just do that. Make sure my cable connections are fine, and then I'll go to insert the artisan crossbar yeah which will go from there to there and it uh, looks like I'll have to set the desk up all right let me take care of those things before I get to the artisan crossbar all right so I've got the desk set up this way to be prepared to install the artisan bar and they say it uh, you should do it with two people but i am one good strong guy who knows how to take his time i did it by myself not really much of a problem but if you have someone at the house with you go ahead and do it get help if you need it so as you see here that's how the desk is set up and that's how i have it so let's get that beautiful artisan bar in there. All right. So I'm set up here. You can see I have my own rig holding this artisan bar since I'm doing this by myself. And I want to get those uh, screws in pretty accurately without bending anything or scratching anything up. Now one point I'd like to bring out is you see those two screws there? I've taken them out of the bar and 
this is how they come packaged with the screws in them now i pulled that one out a little bit and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove those screws so you want to have uh, all the screws removed so that when you bring the artisan bar in you can put these in so if i put these in and don't remove those screws i'm going to have a hard time taking those screws out to bring them around to this side and put them in so you need to get all four screws out before you get going with this all right i think i can do this here we go all right there's the first one done aligned up real nicely and uh, the way i did this on my own was that oops sorry being a little shaky here i put my left hand under this lifted it up so that this would align flush then i put the screws in with by hand and then i held this in place and made this as flush as possible so that the screw was sticking out you know and most of the way i just did it the screws both screws with my hand so i wouldn't have to turn the allen wrench as much and then uh got the those in and then as those were put in and everything was nice and flush and tight remember uh, never over tighten these screws I used the packaging and I bundled, bundled it up to uh, compensate for the extra space made by this uh, being made flush. So now I'm going to do the second one and as you see I have wisely removed these two screws so that I can get straight to putting these in. Had I, once again, had I not removed those screws I'd have to redo this all over again but since I removed these screws ready to go in there all right let's finish this up well 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 do i get a medal or what yeah look at that isn't that pretty yes sirree i am getting happy here now the artisan bar is in and the next step is to initialize the desk but I can't do that until I do this after installation of the artisan crossbar using two people yeah right carefully turn the desk upright I can do that myself okay desk is not complete do not put weight or load on the desk so what I need to do is I need to get this desk turn it up uh, Let's get it, pull it this way, since that's the front, that'll be the right, my right hand will be controlling that. And let's get it standing up before we initialize the desk. All right, there it is. Gorgeous. Okay, instruction manual. A, connect the power cord, etc., etc. I won't bore you with all of the details, you could read it yourself. I do have the power cord connected. B, press and hold uh, the down button until the lifting columns are completely retracted to approximately 24 inches. And then C, once the columns are completely retracted, release that button for a second, then repress it and hold until the E01 flashes. Continue to hold while the desk lifts and retracts approximately five millimeters. The desk is now initialized. All right, let's try that. Press that till it retracts and you could feel it. And then let go for a second and then press. And there's the EO1. Okay. Now let me try to remember what that was. It's until EO1 flash. Continue to hold while the desk lifts and retracts approximately five millimeters. The desk is now initialized. So, should be pretty good. Let's see, what was that note down there? Sometimes necessary to press that. 
Uh, okay, I think I've got it done. Well, let's test this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how high it goes. Look at that. Now I'll tell you, there's a reason, there, there's a number of reasons why I got this desk, apart from the health reasons of sitting and standing, especially when I'm editing, video editing, or recording music, is that uh, I can get under, if I need to, to make connections or check my cables. This desk lifts and just does a wonderful job doing that. The other thing is, for those of you who are musicians, um, there's my keyboard right there. I, I have it covered. And those of you that uh, play keyboards, normally in a recording studio, you have a desk and a shelf underneath where a keyboard MIDI controller is placed under the desk, then the shelf is pulled out and the person plays the key, the controller and then pushes the desk back in. Um, with this desk, not only do I have the health benefits of standing and sitting, but instead of moving the keyboard controller, I'll have it stationary and I move the desk to make room for my hands to go in the keyboard and play it. So my concept with this desk is moving the desk instead of the keyboard. Wow, wow, wow. I really like this. Let me just show this coming down. Oh boy. I'm going to have fun programming my settings. Oh yeah, look at that thing. That is really sweet. And eh, let's just stop there. Look at that. Man, oh man, do I like this. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do just for a final look at this thing is I will put uh, my stuff on here and uh, you'll see what it looks like with my setup. Okay. Now finishing this review, um, I thought that I would show everyone the table before hooking up all the cables, uh, just simply for the aesthetic value. I'm not uh, advertising my studio, but rather the table. So this is the setup that I'm looking at. I've got my 34 inch screen. Uh, by the way, this is a 63 inch standard. They have a larger one, I think 75 or 78 inches, but this is the Terra Pro Next Desk Terra Pro for my music studio. Nice artisan bar. I'll have my mixer here, monitor. Uh, should I say uh, speaker monitor and there's my other recording monitor that I use for my mixes. Nice 34 inch screen. There's my laptop. That's my four terabyte hard drive and it's going to be set up something like this. I'm going to really enjoy this. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, Sometimes when I'm recording with guitar, at least when I used to record with guitar on a uh, stationary desk, I would actually be bending down. Uh, let me just show you, show you all, give an example. There it goes down. So I've got it at its lowest level now. So if I was playing the guitar and I'm standing up, I would actually have to bend over to a desk that high and do my editing with my mouse and uh, 
I'd be bending my back uh, looking at the screen. Now, if I'm playing the guitar standing up, voila. I just raise the desk to something like this, and there you go. I can play my guitar standing up and comfortably work with a mouse on the table. The other thing I mentioned is underneath here, I can put a keyboard a controller or a keyboard synth. An 88 key will fit under there. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope it's helpful. Hope this video is helpful to anyone who's trying to put one together. Okay, everyone, that's it. Thank you.